Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, we are going to be starting a brand new island together. I've already gone through the tutorial and I've already gotten all my stuff unlocked because that's kind of a boring process to watch. As you guys know, the theme that I'm going for for this new island is Grandma Core, but I also want to incorporate Coquette vibes and Spring Core vibes. The one thing I definitely don't want this island to be is Cottage Core. And I know that Cottage Core and Grandma Core are kind of one in the same, so I'm going to try and find my middle ground to where it's not Cottage Core, but it still resembles Grandma Core in some way. Also, if I'm talking a little weird or if I sound like I have a lisp, I did get braces on, so I do apologize if I sound a little weird. So yeah, as you guys can see, I've already picked out the island flag. And um, yeah, let me show you guys the map really quickly. So my island is called Lace Flower because there's going to be a lot of lace and a lot of flowers. And it's obviously named after a real life flower that's called Lace Flower. So out of all of these villagers, the only ones that are staying and the only ones I've scanned in so far is Chelsea, Tia, Chevra, or you know what? I don't even know how to say her name, but I think it's Chevra and Mitzi. The rest of them are going bye-bye, unfortunately. I'll try and get all the villagers I want on this island by the next video or the one after that. But yeah, as you guys can see, I've gotten everybody moved in and I have everything set up pretty much. I picked this island because resident services was really far and because the airport is blue. And I really wanted a blue airport for this island. It just seemed like the best option out of all of the other colors. So yeah. Today we're going to be working on the entrance, obviously, and um, yeah, I, I have high hopes for this. I'm super excited to do this. I am a little concerned though because, as you guys can see, the airport is quite close to this corner of the island. So I'm kind of worried about what I'm going to put right here. I feel like I don't have much room, but I have some ideas. I think I want to put cliffs just completely all the way up into this corner. Um, I would really like to try and do a, um, a sideways bridge. Is that the term for it? I think there's a, a real term for that, but a sideways bridge somewhere leading up this way to resident services, which I'll show you guys in a minute so you guys can get an idea. We're probably not going to get all the way to resident services today because it's really far. I'll show you guys right now. So from the airport, I'm sprinting and here's resident services. It's really far. And that would be like half of the island done if I were to do all of that right now. So right now we're just going to be working on this general area. Um, so yeah, I definitely want to incorporate some uh, waterscaping, which also might be tricky because there's no river mouths anywhere close to me. The closest one is in C1 right there, but it's so far uh, I th so I think I'm not even going to connect it and I'll worry about connecting it later and I'm just going to make it and see what happens. But yeah, first things first, let's get construction started here. Also, I am so sorry. I'm, I'm definitely talking weird. It's it's the braces. I'm not used to them yet. I kind of have a list. Um, let's move this flower. Oh, that's another thing I want to show you guys really quickly, like the flowers and the color scheme. Oh, and the custom codes. Okay. We'll do that in just a second. Let me grab these. So first, let's start with the custom codes for this island. I don't have my entire custom codes filled out yet, but these are the ones that I do have. Um, so a lot of lace, a lot of um, like quilt pattern and just super cozy. The color scheme I'm going for for this island is pretty much showed right here, but mostly blues, whites and pink and some green in there and occasionally some yellow and this is the path that i'm going to try i might switch it out halfway through the island i do that way too often so this might not stay but this is the one that i have so far and i also have these little planks but i still have all of these to fill out so if you guys have any suggestions that you feel like would go well with these please let me know i know you guys have been asking me to make a list of all of my custom codes for my um Old Island Satori. I have just been so busy between getting these braces on and I had a friend come and visit me and she stayed with me for a couple of days and so I've just been 
super super busy but i'm i will definitely work on that and um try and get that out for you guys and when i do figure out where i'm gonna put it and stuff i will put it in the description of this video it might not be there when i first upload this or when you're first seeing this oh my gosh do you hear the whistling from my braces i'm so sorry but yeah so it'll be in the description of this video at some point so just keep a lookout for that also same thing with this island but i'm gonna wait until i fill out all the custom designs to make a little list of all of the ones that i'm gonna use on this island because it feels silly to do one with just all of these ones and then have to go back and edit it so once i get this whole thing filled out i'll also make a list for all of these custom codes on this island as well i think i'm probably going to put that on my instagram highlights so if you want a list of the codes for my old island satori go follow my instagram because i'm pretty sure i'm going to be making a highlight of all of the codes on there anyways these are the flowers that we're gonna be doing and this is another good representation of the color scheme it's very similar to my last island just more pastel and soft and i'm going to not use as many yellows so we have blue hyacinths pink hyacinths pink mums white tulips white cosmos and green mums and these are the flowers that i want to stick to i'm so excited to do this island like i just want to get started so we're going to be working on this general area. First thing I want to do is start working on a cliff over here because this corner is too small to decorate anything. And again, I'm probably not going to decorate the beaches for this island either. I'm sorry, but ugh, I just don't like decorating the beaches. So it's fine if we block this beach off. And also, you guys, it's been five days since I've gotten these braces on and I still can't talk properly. Trust me, I was trying to wait until I sounded a little bit more normal with these braces or until I got used to talking with them, but I I still haven't. So I, I apologize if it bothers you guys. I'll just do a speed build for the next video because, oh my gosh, I know how I talk is very annoying right now. And for some reason, when I say a word that has F in it, it like whistles through my braces somehow. I don't know why it's so annoying. So I, I'm very, very sorry. So as you guys probably know by now, I did lose my house and everything I own in the Lahaina wildfire back in August. And I had a whole setup and a whole PC. I had everything I ever needed, but obviously I lost that in the fire. But my wonderful friend who I love so, so much, she had um, an old PC of hers and she decided to sell it to me. So I do have a PC now which I'm hoping will make making content way easier. And I hope the content I make will be a little bit better for that reason. And um, yeah, I'm super excited. And that also opens up the opportunity to play some of my other favorite games because as far as Switch games go, I really only play Animal Crossing and of course like Mario Kart and stuff. But besides that, it's mostly PC games for me. I love Stardew Valley. Um, I also really want to play Ooblets. Um, I was going to buy it on my PC, but the fire happened like right when it came out for the PC because I heard bad things about it on the Switch because it's a Switch. It's not going to be able to run games very well. But um, yeah, so I was waiting for it to come out on the PC and it came out literally after the fire. And um, I got the notification like right after the fire and I was like, great, that's cool. I can't get that anymore, but now I can. So if you guys are ever interested in seeing other games, definitely let me know. The options are endless. I like cozy games. I like Fortnite, even though that's not something I feel like anybody wants to see. But I like Fortnite. I like what else do I like? Um, I, I like all games. I even like scary games. I'm a huge horror person. So also, if you guys notice, my character doesn't have pink hair anymore. I did have pink hair when I um, was doing Satori, but... It was a very short-lived moment, and now I have, um, like a burgundy red sort of hair color, so that's why her hair color is burgundy red. I always want them to be an accurate reflection of what I look like. I don't know, I just, I've always been that way, and especially because I have a new hair color, I, I just really wanted to use it for my character. And going into more detail of how I don't want it to get mixed up with, um, cottagecore, 
I'm just not a big fan of cottage core because cottage core is very neutral colors and foresty and woodsy and for me it's mostly the colors that would bother me if it came across as cottage core because I love color and I feel like cottage core doesn't have enough color for me so that's why I'm trying to avoid this island coming off like cottage core because it's just not really my my favorite thing in the world also loud car sorry if you heard that and so that's why I'm gonna try and incorporate some coquette inspiration just mostly with the baby pinks and I have a couple like ribbon codes and stuff and I think that those will go really cute because I think that coquette is almost very similar to grandma core because it's like ribbons and very girly and feminine and dainty and that's I feel like that goes well with grandma core and so yeah I'm gonna try and somehow combine those two themes and take inspiration from each of them to to make my own version of grandma core so I'm super excited for this island and I I'm kind of scared that I'm gonna end up wanting it to be my forever island but I thought the same thing about Satori and I was so sick of it towards the end so we'll see how that plays out okay we have a good chunk of cliff here I don't know what this is but I don't know where I want this to carry out or how far I want it to come out to here yet. So I think just starting with a basic little square is the best idea. Oh, whoa. I've never seen a villager just like chill on the airport like this. She's low-key really cute. Like at first when I got her, I was like, oh my God, really? I have a hippo, but I actually really like her and she looks so cute right now. I think she'd be good for kid core. We're obviously gonna incorporate some waterscaping probably coming down from here and then going all the way around so that way I can put that little diagonal bridge that's what it's called a diagonal bridge not a sideways bridge um yeah so I want to put a diagonal bridge somewhere like right here I definitely want to be able to see it when you're right here so maybe like right in this area so I think that's the next thing we'll do is we'll waterscape I'm trying to remember how far I can go where you would see it from the airport. That almost feels a little close, but we'll stick with that for now. Maybe like that. Yeah, that's that's a good spot. And then, I don't know, maybe we'll make it to where you're able to walk around that way. We'll see. Okay, so this is where the land bridge... Or, gosh, why do I always want to say land bridge? This is where the diagonal bridge is going to go. So now we just have to make it wide enough. I'm definitely going to carry out carry it out this way versus carrying it out this way because that will just not leave me enough room. So let's make this wide enough to put the bridge. I have no idea what bridges I'm going to do for this island. I normally like to just pick one bridge and one incline and then stick to that just so it's like consistent throughout the whole island. But I don't know which ones I'm going to use this time because I really love the Zen bridge so much. It's like my favorite. Cause I love the wood tone, but I don't know. I'm just gonna have to get in there and see. I don't have a plan for this entrance. I have like an idea, but I don't have a solid plan of what's what it's gonna be or what it's gonna look like or what I'm gonna have. So we're just going with the flow. I did look up some videos of like island entrance ideas and stuff like that. So I have an idea, but no, no solid plan. Okay, so I really like the suspension bridge but i'm not like sold on it just because the wood is a little orange for my liking this bridge to me it's just it's cute and it's a good color but it's boring i don't really want one that's super flat like if i'm gonna do a flat bridge i'm gonna do the suspension bridge brick bridge is really cute i just wish it was a different color brick because i would definitely pick it but i don't like the red brick the iron bridge no the red zen bridge, no. This zen bridge, though, oh my gosh. Okay, for me, it's between the suspension bridge and the zen bridge. I really want to switch it up and do the suspension bridge, but let me know in the comments below which one you guys think would be better for the island, because like I said, I pick one bridge and I pretty much stick to it. So let me know which one you guys would prefer between the suspension bridge and the zen bridge. For now, I think I'm going to go with the Zen Bridge, and if we hate it and we decide we want to do a different one, we will replace it. The one thing that does suck is Resident Services is a little too far for my liking. I normally like Resident Services pretty close, but 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, whoa. That's like a lot bigger than I thought. Okay. So we're probably gonna have to make it a little bit wider. Okay, I think that might be good. Yes, let's imagine it. Oh, see, that is just so cute. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna time travel, get this bridge built, and I will be right back. Okay, you guys, the bridge is built and Chevra is gonna be right in my way today. So that's fun. Um, but the bridge looks so cute. I love this bridge. I'm I still think this was the suspension bridge is really cute. So if you guys think that that would go better than the Zen bridge, let me know. Because I'm very much willing to change it and just see how it looks. So I think we should continue on this river. And I really want to do like a little pond moment and have like a little island in the pond. But I want to keep it pretty small. Okay, so something like that I think is good for now. Even just one little, yeah, like that. Now you want to put a little ducky on it, so... Let me grab a ducky out of my storage really quick. Oh, so let's find a cute custom code to put down under the duck. I did get these little flowers, which I think would be really cute. Okay, now let's put the duck. Oh, that is so cute. Look at how cute that is. And I don't know if we're going to continue this like along right here or something. So for now, I'm just going to leave it like that. We'll figure that one out in a minute. For now, we're going to have to move Chevra and work on this spot. I don't know if maybe I want to make this... Don't... Stop. Stop. Don't even think about it. She's really trying. She's really trying. And I don't want to make her upset. I don't know if I want to make this, like, enough spaces to where you can hop over it. Or if I want to put, like, a stepping stone. Or if I want to make you go on the bridge yet. Yeah. I think that that's cute. And then we'll make it carry up to there. And yeah, we're just left with this little cute piece of land. Let's see how that looks on the map. Oh, it looks so cute. Okay. I really like it. I want to not worry about this cliff too much right now. We'll decorate that in a minute. For now, I kind of want to decorate this little spot. Like, this little entrance spot. And then maybe we'll go up and do the cliffs. And then after that, we'll go over the bridge and continue on with this little entrance. Okay, let's get out some fruit and a shovel. Let's grab some trees. Also, I grabbed some bushes. I grabbed the... Oh, shoot. I, I don't know what they're called, but I grabbed bushes that are in season, and I don't want them to be in season. I don't want them to have any flowers on them, so I'm going to have to grab new bushes. But for now, we're just going to use the ones that I do have. I think a tree would go really cute right here, just to kind of square off the area. Oh, you know what I didn't grab, though? I didn't grab any stunted trees, but that's okay. We might have to go back and replace some of them in the future, but that's okay. Yeah, I really like that tree right there. And I think I am going to want to replace that for a little bit of a smaller tree because I think I want to do stuff up here and I want it to be pretty visible. Okay, I, I don't think I want to put any more trees here for now. Um, Now, I don't know if I want path right here or if I want to use the planks. Or if I want any of that at all. I think I just want to try these planks for now. I don't know. This is just a rough idea. I don't know if it's going to stay like this. Okay, maybe like that. I think that that's kind of cute. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Let's see if we have a cute code to put right here. Is that too many custom codes? Should I replace that with a flower? Or a weed? I think I like it for now. Let's go grab some of those bushes. Like I said, I grabbed... I, I didn't know that these ones would be in bloom right now. So I'm going to replace them. And they're also a little too dark green for my liking. I feel like they just stick out like a sore thumb because this is very spring and... These are more of like a summer green to me, so I don't know if that makes any sense, but we're definitely going to replace them. But for now, they will work. Let me put one like behind this tree. And maybe one in this little corner here. A lot of this island is going to be like definitely code based. Like the custom codes are going to make this island, so... I want to include more already. I think I want to put one like right here, right next to this little bridge. 
I just don't know which one I want to do yet. I could do this little heart rug. Let's try it. Let's just see. Look at how cute that is. Okay, I don't like how it's directly in line right here. So maybe we'll move it over one. That is just so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. Or honestly... Okay, hold on. Let's grab fencing because I want to kind of block off the entrance around the airport with fence. I have a few different ones I want to try. I definitely want to use the log fencing. And I feel like the vertical board fencing will be a little too tall. But we'll try it anyways. Okay, that's really cute actually. Okay, let's just try it everywhere else though. I think it's so cute. Maybe we'll make it almost look like a gate. So we'll do that. Oh, that is so cute. Let's see what that would look like right here too. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? I just really wish I could fit in a tree. Maybe we'll put the pond over just by one so I could stick a tree in here without blocking the pond. Just like like that maybe. Oh, it kind of covers the, the pond and the duck. If it's a little bit smaller, I think I'll like it better. Oh, you know what? No, I don't. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get rid of it. Okay, so I've grabbed a lot of stuff. Some of it I'm gonna have to customize along the way, but we'll worry about that later. Um, I did grab a wooden partition, but I feel like with the fence we already have so much of that. But I don't know. I thought let's just try one maybe like right here. I don't know which color this one is. Oh, the pink is so cute. With the little rose, I feel like it's just perfect. I think we can... Yes. Okay, that's really cute. I also grabbed a bench. I grabbed a few different benches to play with. Because I think right here would be a good spot for a bench. So you can come and sit and get your stuff together after you get out of the airport. I'm just going to put all my benches out and decide which one I want to use for right here. I have a garden bench. Oh, I have a log bench. Okay, so it's just between these two different benches. And I think against the white, I think that the one to go with would be the log bench. So we're going to try that. I want to code under it for sure. Let's try this blanket code. That is so cute. Um, I think that that's, that's cute. We can put something tall in this corner. Not too tall, though. Oh, I don't know. Okay, we're gonna come back to that area. Because over here, I have a great idea of something I want to do. Not this one, but I'm gonna use a different blanket code. And make a little rocking chair set up, like, right here. Oh, that is just so cute. I love all the pink, but I want to incorporate some other colors, too. This area is a little pink heavy. We could try the white partition. Okay, yeah, I think I like the white better. There's a lot of white going on, but I'm going to try and break it up with some of the natural wood as well. So I think I want to change the code under here. It's a little too pink and white, even though that's going to be the main colors. I still want to incorporate some other colors right here. So let's see what else we have. We could do this green one or we can do this little round one. We're going to try this round one. Because just because it has other colors in it, so I feel like it's not going to be overbearingly pink, if that makes any sense. Even though the main color is pink on this. Yeah, that is just so cute. Okay. I think I grabbed a mama bear. Oh, that is so cute. Okay, maybe not that color though. I know I have a different one in here. Yes, that is so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I love this already. Okay, and then... Over here, I was thinking a wooden box would be cute. Yeah. It's kind of a lot of wood tones for that little corner, but I think it I think it doesn't look that bad. And some newspapers. Yeah, I love that. I love that little section. And then I still don't know what I want to do with this bench yet, so we're going to avoid that. Okay, I think I want to put a cute little custom code right here. I don't know what I want to do. Maybe a button? Oh, that is so cute. Oh, that is- oh, I'm just- I'm so excited for this island. 
I'm just in love. You guys, it took so much self-control to not do this, like, three days ago when I was too busy to actually film. But I was playing and preparing and getting everything ready. Like, I just wanted to decorate so bad. I think a leaf aisle would be cute in this little corner here. Oh, it's kind of big, though. Yeah, I think that that's cute. And I'm going to grab some flowers. Okay, let's plant one right here. And let's see. Let's go with a green mum. That is just adorable. I just love it so much. Okay, let's pick this up. Let's put that code back under here. I do have some log stakes too, which would be really cute. What if we put one right here? We're just hopping all over the place today. It's just the vibe. Oh, that is so cute. Should it go the other way though? Oh, that, I like it like that. Maybe put one right here too. Oh, not right there, but close. And then maybe turn this one around like that. Yes. You guys, this is so cute. I love it. And then over here, I want a blue flower. Yes. It needed that little blue flower. And then in this little corner, we'll put another flower. We'll do a pink flower right here. Oh my gosh. I really like the little bird bath. I think that that's adorable. And then... What else here? Oh, I still have that garden wagon. Oh, that would be, you know where that would be really cute? Like, right here. Where is it? Yes, look at how cute that is. I think I want to switch the code under here again. I think I want to do one that comes out a little bit more so you can see it. Let's try the log bench again. Oh, I kind of like the log bench a little bit better. Just a little bit. I feel like it's evening out the wood tones from over here and incorporating them over here. So I think we're going to leave that. I have a cruiser bike, but I really don't know where to put it. Move this and try it right here. I don't know how I feel about that. Um... And then my other idea was to stick it right here, which I think I'm going to like it right here a lot better. Oh yeah, see, I like that so much right there. And that's fine, we can put the log stakes like right here instead. And then on top of this bench, I want to put something up here. Maybe the stack of books? Yeah, I kind of like that. I think that's cute. Okay, we have a big open area right here. I don't know really what I want to put here quite yet. I think I want to put these log stakes back really quick though, for sure. And then... I think I want to get up on that cliff really quick and just carry on the waterscaping. So, let's grab a ladder. I think I want to make it like a little corner. And then have the water come off from here. That way, I can connect it to my river mouth up there somehow so i think that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna leave that for now and work on the third layer so when you're like sitting right here i kind of want the third layer to be visible but i don't want it to be too close so maybe like right about here we can start it okay i have a very basic little shape right there and then I don't really know what else I want to put up there quite yet. So I think we're going to take a break from that. I want another custom code. I know I'm going crazy with the codes on this island, but be prepared because if you think this is bad, just wait and see until I fill up all my custom code slots. Like it's over for you. I think a code right here would be nice. Maybe the little baggy. I would put another big code right here to kind of fill up this space, but I feel like because the chair is on a code, and the bench is on a code. I don't want to overkill it, but what if we just tried it? Oh, you know what? I really like it. I think because I do want to include the button, I'm going to put it back right here. I was thinking of maybe moving this pathing to come out a little bit more. I don't like how it's touching the gate over there on the right side. So I was thinking of doing something like this. Yes, that is... A thousand times better. I wonder if there's anything I can set on this blanket that won't take up too much space. Let me go look through my inventory really quick. 
I'm gonna switch out the newspaper that was up here before. Oh yes, that is so cute. And I'm gonna put the newspaper down here. Yeah, I really like that. I think that that's really cute. And then maybe right here we can plant a flower. I don't know. Yeah, I think that that's really cute. Okay, I think this little area is done for now. I still need to go through and find a few more codes to put down on the ground and stuff like that. And um, I think that's it for today's build. So why don't we take a look at what we did? guys so so much for watching today's video if you guys enjoyed it please make sure to like and subscribe and comment and let me know if you guys would have done anything differently or if you have any ideas this is the first build on the island and we all know that the first build goes through the most changes especially when it's the entrance because the theme isn't really for sure set yet but this is what i came up with today it might be different in the next video i might change a couple of little things but so far, I really love it, and I think it's a great, accurate representation of what I want the rest of the island to look like. It's kind of like the foundation. But um, yeah, I'm super happy with how this came out today. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, night, evening, wherever you are. I hope you're having a great time. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!